I'm Akeem Browder, brother of Khalid Browder and the founder of the sh uh, campaign to shut down Rikers. Today we're doing a screening in New York at the Nuya House for Time, the story of Khalid Browder, the six series documentary. It's going to be on Spike and BET. The documentary is basically about an injustice that was done to my brother Khalif. Um, at the age of 16, he was wrongfully accused of stealing a backpack. He never was taken to court. And when he, oh Lord, let me start again. It's a lot, it gets really emotional right now. Uh, okay. What we're doing is showing a, a kid could be taken off the street, subjected to torture and something that an adult that wouldn't even be able to withstand because we can't forget the fact that he was a kid when they took him the system that came into his life and changed everything in a matter of seconds he sat in rikers for approximately three years most of the time was in solitary confinement he suffered a lot of abuse mental abuse physical abuse starvation all the while he decided he wouldn't admit to something he didn't do. He was a strong man and he wouldn't give up and he was never a follower. And that's what the system was breaking him on the basis of. And he suffered and ultimately it contributed to his uh, suicide. And I want people to learn that this is America, this is happening in our backyard. Kids should not go through this and neither should any humans really, whether they're adults or kids. You'll see Khalif is not perfect and neither am I or anyone else that's in this. When the eye is on a black and brown skinned person, we get dealt the adult card. We should be able to live our lives as kids and make mistakes. Jenna first and Nick Sando approached me and my family to um, start this series. When Jay-Z heard Kali's story, actually when he came home, Jay-Z took to the story almost immediately. And he spoke with him. He hung out with him, he tried to find out what's going on because he took interest in to what happened to him. When Khalid passed, unfortunately, Jay-Z had a limited amount, of, a limited amount of time with him. You know, it takes a powerful voice like Jay-Z to magnify it to get throughout the United States. People are disgusted by it. This is something that goes behind closed doors. To normal people, it's not a big thing because it's not out there. Anyone that can't, uh, that hears this story can't resist the thought that what are, we, what, what are we doing in America that this can happen over a book bag? 